The views and opinions of the hosts and guests are their own and do not necessarily reflect the position of the management and staff of Guardian Network. Gentlemen, take your marks. Set. Ladies and gentlemen, um, and ladies uh, and gentlemen all around the world, if you hear that music, you have to know that that is from a long time, 1977, the music that I use uh, for the B3s, and the song is Kush, and it's done by none other than the T Connection. Uh, I guess the, the more seasoned people know a little bit about the T Connection, but they're the best band in the Bahamas, and they have not uh, done anything here for a long time. Well, Track World uh, is uh, brought to you, well, of course, this is... Uh, uh, on Guardian Radio 96.9 FM. And we are on our way to the 500th episode. I will, how do I, how do I put it? There are about uh, 400 and something uh, people that we saw on the show. And as the time goes by, we're going to see some more. And, uh, and those people who are, who are watching or uh, listening with several different platforms. My co-host is none other than Philippa Arnett. And we will introduce this young man 
right now. And uh, Philippa, who is he? I wonder, I wonder, I wonder. You wonder? Um, Dorset. Dorset. I leave you to the full names. <laughs> well, well, let me say this. Let me say this. You know, they say that I look like Pancho, and they say I look like this fella. <laughs> nah, I agree. I, I, agree. Eh, eh, eh. <laughs> I, I don't know. I, I don't know. But how are you both doing today? Good evening, Alfie. And I'm happy to be here. Good evening, listeners. Good evening. I'm also happy to be here. Enjoying life. Enjoying life. That's what I'm talking about. Well, Track World is brought to you by Sun Oil Limited, Arawak Homes, um, Sunshine Insurance, my bestseller book from Vancouver to Athens, 50 years of Bahamian international track and field competition, AFD management services in Pairdale, um, and Freeman DeVoe is the CEO, and their business is oil and uh, energy, and Vaughn L. Calmer. Uh, and associates insurance brokers, and I will tell you this secret. I have been a financial services representative, representative at Kalina for more than 40 years. My daughter, Alexis Hanna, is my business partner, and we are the A team, and the first A is for Alpheus, and the second A is for Alexis. And I'll tell you this, she is my business partner. And uh, that's what I am talking about. But at the same time, Kalena has, um, um, what do I call it, health. Uh, Kalena has mortgages, and Kalena has, uh, well, of course, um, I'm talking about regular accidents and all of that. Uh, whatever you wish, you can get it. And uh, that's uh, what I am talking about. I will just um, say um, to uh, somebody giving shout-outs, there's a young man who uh, lives near uh, City Market uh, in Cable Beach. And he is out of Long Island. And he listens to the show. And there's another one, by the way. Um, uh, I said uh, he's at, they're all at, at uh, City Market. And the other one who was there is a Seymour. And uh, he, I'm giving him a shout out. And uh, he is uh, Seymour from Cat Island, of course. Uh, but uh, uh, he is at the Church of uh, Prophecy. I'm not talking about the, the other one, Prophecy, uh, where we got our uh, vaccination some, oh, it, seems like, it seems like ye years ago. So uh, let me say this while I am thinking about it. Uh, you all know Bob Beeman. We mm -hmm. were talking about... <laughs> Stanley was saying, when I talk to people, you have to know who it is. Mm -hmm. But we know Bob Beeman, yes. mm -hmm. the long jumper. Well, the 16th of the month uh, is the anniversary of Bob Beeman's jump. Mm -hmm. And they say it was in the morning, or whatever it is, in the morning, and the jump was something else, jumped out of the field, jumped out of the field. But you know what is so interesting? And Bob Beeman was just so, like, like, like uh, he said, where was Bob Beeman from? Because when when you're talking when you when you're talking about these people, well, some, a lot of people to, are asking. Well, where, Bim where, Bim went to where? Texas and El, El Paso. Okay, so yes. now we, the listeners know yes, where he who, yes. where, exactly. Well, Bim from the United States. Right. Exactly. Yes, yes, yes. Right. Right. Can right. you help me, please? You're I, my I, I got you're you. My I got you. <laughs> yeah. So that, but 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 who has the record now? Um, Chris, is it Christian? No. no Con. Con. No, we're talking about a long jumper. Yeah, long jump. Which Christian? You know, Christian got no, 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 no long. Mike Conley then. No, they're triple jumpers. 
Okay, well, you, you, you tell us then. Okay, no, I'll leave it alone. I'll leave it alone. No, you so, can't leave no, it. No, I will, leave, I will like leave it alone. I will okay. leave it alone. So what I also want to, to, to say, since we're here, we have this opportunity uh, of, uh, I brought the book, uh, about somebody that we know. I'm talking about Miller. Ramon Miller? Ramon, Ramon Miller. Miller. Okay. So the question was, um, last night, here it is, mm -hmm. last night uh, Nahaja was speaking with somebody and um, um, it was in the papers for us and mm -hmm. they interviewed him on, um, on uh, one of the radio stations, but he says he only ran <clears> through <throat> the country and he did everything got that property out there mm -hmm. on this and that and, and nothing could happen. But I said, I said, somebody told me, they said, man, somebody got to get up and talk about it. So I talked about it, mm -hmm. the show last night. Okay. And they didn't say anything about the Golden Girls. Mm -hmm. But the Golden Girls have that property forever <laughs> and they can't do no. nothing, nothing with it. Because you can't get, a, can't get to it. But why, but why do we want, want to sell them that? Why do we want to give them that? Alfie, I think it's pretty much the same thing with the properties that the Relay guys got. The Ramon it's the same thing. It's right. the same so, thing. You know, we'll have Nothing to find changed. out why exactly, why the properties were, were awarded mm. in that manner in areas that were not developed. That's, well, I, that's a different conversation. So I, I, I have a little jump on you. I know this fellow. This big time fella in track and field, not just track and field, a lot of things. You, mm. you may have known him, but look here. He sent me about the, the promised goal. The promised goal now, okay? Somebody, let's see who's watching. Troy, Troy McIntosh. It looks like it's Troy McIntosh. That's a Morgan State. Morgan State. Troy, we got to get together. I had Troy on the show before, but. I need to find a way to, to have him talk. But, but what I am saying <coughs> is, is that the promised goal, mm -hmm. and he sent me it, and, you know, it just, uh, I got it, uh, and I, I don't think, he, he may have emailed it to me or whatever it is. This is a big time person in, in sports, mm -hmm. not just track and field, all, all, all over the place. And, uh, so the question is, he said, the promised goal. The promised goal was what uh, I think Hubert uh, uh, Ingram promises. I could remember. Okay. Uh, somebody promised it. And uh, again and again over the years, nothing happened. Nothing happened. Mm -hmm. Nothing happened. But you know, I, I want to throw uh, just a switch in the, in the conversation. I know I've I heard a few persons speaking about both the Golden Girls um, write up in the paper and Ramon's mm -hmm. um, write up in the paper. And there's mixed emotions on it because while I definitely, you know, I understand and I feel with both teams because I was a part, I was there mm -hmm. and I understand what they're going through. There are some persons that saying, but you're, you're saying, you're telling the government on one hand to do this, but the government has already awarded you something, you know, and... You can't explain you that tell to the people. government to do what? What did they tell the government to do? No, well, not not tell the government yeah. that uh, person. Some people feel that the government has already awarded you something. So what more what? are you fighting what? the what? property oh, for no, no, a relay no, no, medal? No, 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 Look here, look here, look here. No, I'm just saying I that's the conversation. Mouth. Excuse me, I got that's big mouth. That's the conversation. Mouth. Do you think that there was any value in going out there and have to do all of that? No. As, as, no. Definitely no. No. Definitely no. The nice thing is, they awarded over basically 10 properties, the Golden Girl with mm -hmm. five, and mm -hmm. then the boys and I was six. Yeah. Right? So Tony got one as well. It, right. So mm -hmm. that's about seven, about 10 properties. To me, there should have been some infrastructure because yes. when do you want those kids or those athletes began to develop their homes? Yes. There have to be some infrastructure. There's no excuse for no in infrastructure being in that place. And, and they I were coupled together, so yes. they were all in one in area. One area. In each so there's no reason. Well, well, let me let me say, Troy McIntosh in, is there, and Giovanni, that's uh, Stuart, mm -hmm. Chauvin's son. I see him. Coming. Correct. Yes. 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 Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, 
Yes. Troy, um, um, you have Troy's contact? I do. I do. Oh, yeah, I have yeah, yeah. Troy. I have Troy's contact. Give it to me. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. No yeah. problem. So what, I, what I'm saying is that a country like this, you, well, we're not the United States. So, so don't talk about that. Of course not. Don't, don't talk about that. But, but what I'm saying is that uh, we have to. Let, let, let me let me say this. You all watch. You all watch. You all watch the Olympics. Mm -hmm. You all watch Stevie and Shawnee. Correct. How do you put that? You can't put a value on it. You can't no, put a value on it. We had this discussion yeah. before. You, so when you there's get no home, value. you should treat them home As such. like how the people treat them. At the Olympics. Abroad, yeah. There's no value. Yeah. There's no value. But but definitely, yeah, there's no value but smaller nation to greater nations. So you still have to sort of put a devalue to it because what a bigger Australia or a bigger USA or a bigger Europe in its whole could give to the value that they would have brought to this country mm. in tourism... Just bringing, you know, sight to where the Bahamas is. We can't pay for it. The government can't award them well, it let me, either. Well, let me ask you this. But what we can do is reach into private sectors here yeah. and see how they can well, fit of into course, that. But let picture. me say something. We had the opportunity to go to uh, Monaco when they decided uh, for us that we would be bidding for things. Right. Okay? To Monaco. Me and the fellow who is uh, uh, at the Ministry of Tourism. I'm forgetting his name now. Uh, Sawyer? Sawyer, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, but, and uh, the minister then was, uh, oh heavens, uh, the, the, the long jumper. The long jumper. The long jumper. Yeah. The long jumper. You know the long jumper. Uh, his daughter, his daughter's, uh, his daughter is a swimmer. Oh, yes, yes. He's a poor boy, also. Um, um, yeah, 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 yeah. But what, what I'm saying is that we went there, and what is so interesting, you know, mm. is that this fella from, um, uh, what's the name of the country uh, that has the great uh, runners? Oh, Vanderbilt Wallace was the minister. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah, minister. yeah, yeah. But, but, but uh, this fella is from, oh, heavens, uh... I'm trying to remember uh, the name. Anyhow, Mike Powell. No, 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 no. Mike Powell is the one that uh, Mike is the one who 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 did the uh, the long jump. long jump. But but this girl, uh, she won the. Uh, she went to to uh, Iowa State, and she is the first uh, 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 Muslim or I think a woman to win a medal. She won the oh, gold okay. medal. You know what I'm talking yeah, about I think in LA. Yeah, I think so I what? Know. What? What I, what I, um, what what I am saying is that the person who was in the IAF office said that their uh, thing is uh, forty thousand dollars or four whatever it is, mm. uh, 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 with dwarfs to Bahamas, mm. and that's why we got to be called. Um, um, uh, small country, Bahamas, small mm -hmm. country, country yeah. great athletes, athletes yeah. and people all over the world know that. Oh, my brother Spence is watching, and a number of other uh, uh, people, my good cousin is, is watching also. Mm -hmm. So that's what I am talking about. We're at the point where we need to, we got to be innovative, and I'm sure that the minister is innovative. And, uh, you know, it's really, so it's, re it's really something else. It's really something else. Yeah, that article with um, Ramon, I really feel for him because my thing is, you have your top athletes, over 10, 12 of them, and you award them property. Why should they go have a property that, that basically have no infrastructure they can't build? Because, like Ramon said now, he have to buy a generator. He have to dig a well. Why? An athlete of that stature. Mm -hmm. If all of us decide, well, hey, we're going to build in the property that the government gave us, but what you going to do? What are you going to build with? You build it and you can't have no infrastructure, no electricity, no water. No, something is wrong there. Something is wrong there. And That's then the prime done. minister, the former prime minister, uh, doing, uh, I guess, about uh, two years uh, before, mm -hmm. uh, he said that he would give uh, Shawnee uh, some property in Abuku. 
And if she win the, the, the more, she, he is going to do it again. You know, but everybody's forgotten that, eh? But my thing is, you know, we have enough crown land all over the place in this country that every senior athlete that win a medal, whether it's silver, gold, or bronze, at mm -hmm. any international meet, should be able to get some type of property from government for winning that medal. Because mm -hmm. we have a and do it on the family island. It won't be all in Nassau. You go to Exuma, Eleuthera, Kell Island, just give the athlete something because they're really taking us to the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they should be able to get at least property. Can I give them money? Mm -hmm. The property is there, property, it's free. Yeah. Give them property, but don't give them property way in the back of the bush. Give them something that they can really start developing. And that's how you develop some of these family islands. Well, let me say this. We're here to talk about you. Mm -hmm. Okay? So, my question is, when did you start getting involved in sports? I'm not talking about coaching here, the T-Birds and none of that. No. Uh, I mean, when did primary you start? School? From primary school. Yeah. Well, I started from, you know, I was born in Exuma, Williamstown, Exuma, and we used to have the regatta in, in, well, the regatta in Georgetown, and we used to have, like, sack race, the 60 meters, a 60-yard dash, and I, and I like running. So um, that's how I really got started. I, you know, I got support from my father, my mother, my brothers. Um, when we go to Georgetown, that was a big thing going from Williamstown to Georgetown. Well, of course. To run in the regatta, you know. Of course. And when it came to Nassau, um, I went to Weston Senior, and I started running. Um, um, then went to Mammoth Baptist. From there, I went to Minnesota State University. Well, Mankato State so, University. Okay. So, so, no, no, stop here. Tell us what you've done mm -hmm. at those schools. Don't jump, don't jump okay. to Mankato. Well, at Mammoth Baptist. Because we got plenty to talk about. Yes. Uh, but, but people need to know. Well, when it came, I went to Weston Senior first. Uh, and under Mr. Wilson, he was the PE teacher. Then I did. Um, Which Wilson? Um, he died now. Um, um, I forgot his first name. Um, he, he's a Barbadian. Okay. Yeah. He, he was the PE teacher at um, Western Senior. And I started long jump. I had people like. Um, long jump too? No, no, long, long, the 100. I used to do okay, the 100. I, I understand. Uh, people yeah. like Phil Johnson and Earl Boswick, they were my seniors. Sammy Adley, they were my seniors. Mm. I was a junior boy. And when I went from um, Western Senior, I was in grade five. And I went back home and take the entry examination, and I passed for um, Bahamas Baptist. Mm -hmm. And I went there, and I did everything there. One, two, four, um, school. I played basketball, softball, all the sports at Bahamas mm -hmm. Baptist. Mm -hmm. you know. I was good at all of them. I mean, fa fairly good. Um, coach Moon McPhee was the coach at Bahamas Baptist, and we did everything. So then I started around the 400. And from there, um, he went to Mankato State. And, okay. he got, and he got me a scholarship to go to Mankato State um, University. And then I went from there. But um, I'll never forget the one race that I run the four, when I first run the 400, it was right between, well, the favorite were Bob Mills, um, Vincent Rumble Wallace. And so where's Bob Mills now? I don't Virginia, know. Virginia, eh? I think Probably. he moved to Virginia. Yeah, he was at St. Augustine. Um, Vincent Vanderpool was at Government High, and um, Dudley Moxie Bones, he was at Aquinas. Aquinas, yeah. Right. And I was at the little school, but we had like 150 mm. students there, and we were under 400. And in my heat... So who was in charge of Bahamas, uh, I mean, uh, Bahamas Baptist? The P teacher? No, I mean, at the school itself. Oh, that was the Southern Baptist, and Miss Nona Bickstaff was the principal then. The Southern Baptist had okay. started that. Okay. And so the coach again? Well, Moon, Gloucester Moon McPhee. Okay. I thought you had somebody else. No, he Well, he I guess somebody. Good evening. <laughs> That's it. So, so continue. Yeah. Uh, we are in the 400, and I got second in the heat. And so Coach McPhee, tell, the, tell all the coaches, my boy got to win the 400. Now, mm -hmm. I didn't know he was doing this. Yeah. He was done with my boy because Bob... Bob Mills, Moxie, and Winnipeg, they were the favorites. They were the big school. They were the favorite. And he got a buddy, I'm going to win the 400. They didn't be known to me. Mm -hmm. I was a bit nervous, you know. So we ran, and basically I, I won it. I beat, um, I think, um, Bones got second, and Vincent Van Brew got third, Lester mm -hmm. Garden, I think he got fourth. But that was my breakout party. Um, I, I could remember Bob Mills uh, 
we go into the Florida Relays or one of those places. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, 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 you know, he he could have run. Oh, yeah, Bob is hard mode. He, he could have run. Before I read Bob, surely, hey, all you can see is my, yeah, my yeah, hand, yeah, you yeah, know. Yeah, he, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's timid. I think, he's, I think he's gone to, um, would have been uh, someplace up, up north, uh, mm -hmm. Richmond or, or one, of the, one of those places. You know, yeah. Bahamians are all... All over, all over the place. Please, yes, yeah. So your, your, what, what do I call it now? Your arrival in Minnesota. Tell us about that. Oh, now bear in mind, you know, I've never been to a cold place. I've never been to European tour. I have never been to a cold place. Cold place and, too. and the coldest I've ever been was like home here, was seventy degrees. When I went in Minnesota, when I went, the coach meet me at the airport because. Um, I would say I'm thankful to Coach McPhee because he got me the scholarship to, Minnesota, to Mankato State. And Coach Peterson met me at the airport. When I got there, the temperature was 40 degrees. Never been anything like that. 40 degrees. So Coach came there. He met, he met me with one of these parkers, you know, these big parkers. Yeah. I was cold, and he put that on. I had on a three-piece suit then. Yeah. You know? yeah. So when we got to his house um, that night, I went to bed. I slept in my... I had a three-piece suit on. I slept in that. I slept in the parka and a blanket. I was so cold. Yeah. I had slept wholesale with a parka on. And now you might be looking to the coldness of Minnesota. But the mom, well, Coach Co was like a father to me, an extended father. He was, he was really um, 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 accommodating. And I got in and started running. Now, the first year I got there. Well, let, me, let me tell you what I did. I went to Minnesota in July. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. In July. You went I heart. went, I took the bus from Miami to Hartford, Connecticut. Mm -hmm. And when I left Connecticut, I, by the way, I saw Judson Emius at my sister's house in Connecticut. Oh, okay. He was going to Fisk. Mm -hmm. uh, he was, uh, we, we, we're the same age, mm -hmm. uh, but uh, he, uh, he was, you know, he went to school in, in Jamaica mm -hmm. at the age of 10. And uh, he was, um, uh, he had two more years at Fisk, and I was just uh, starting. But when I got up there, man, it was cool. Me, George Wilson, and Martin Lundy, mm -hmm. we went to the State Fair mm -hmm. in Minneapolis. Yeah, yeah. And guess what? We were coming home and hitchhiking. It was so cool. Larry Gibson, you listening? Valdez uh, Ferguson, you're listening, and Juan Scabella. Uh, I'll tell you this. Um, as as we were saying, as we were saying, um, it was so cold, and we were, uh, you know, in the in the uh, phone booth. Mm. We were taking time in between. Lucretia Napa is uh, listening and watching, and we told the police. <laughs> <laughs> Take us to the station. <laughs> the police say, y'all ain't do nothing. <laughs> so as it turned out, we did get a ride all the way to Minneapolis. And we always, I could always remember when the first snow came. Mm. The first snow came. And it was really something else. We went to St. Thomas once, mm -hmm. walking and walking, me and Martin. We went into this place. The fella have, have uh, what do you call it? Uh, when your feet and your fingers and everything with the cold, oh, oh frostbite, just, uh, frostbite. So, so in, in at St. John's, it would be thirty below, mm. and at at uh, Winnipeg, it's it would be forty up. below. So cold, you could cold. tell the difference. Yeah. So, I have I have no interest in going in that kind of weather anymore in life. I I enjoy it that minute, the cold. Yeah. I got used to it. Because it you get used years. to it. You get used to it. I don't mind going there. You get used to it. Yeah, I get used to it. So your competition at Saint, uh, at uh, at your school, well, Cato University. Well, basically, you know, um, they had a rule in terms of competition, in terms of workout, because the workout was different there because it's more structured and more intense. That's and, why you're there, <laughs> right? And I think I won do it for that year. We had like ten meets. 10, 10, and I do 10 meets, I won about uh, three or four of them, mm -hmm. right? And training, I see the guys training, and they train hard. You know, coming from the Bahamas, I kind of 
didn't used to that hard training. And I wrote to myself that next year, nobody's going to beat me in my event. So my sophomore year, from my sophomore to senior year, I won all the events. I was in the 600, 800, 400. Because that's, that's indoor. Or the outdoor. Six, 600, 600 indoor, yes. Yeah, indoor, yeah. But in or out, nobody on my team beat me in, the, in those races from my sophomore year to my senior year because I wowed that. Work as hard as them, and I tell my athletes now, for you to beat them, you got to do what they do or more for mm -hmm. you to be on top. And that's what I, what I did. Um, but it was, I enjoyed the time there. You know, competition was a lot of traveling, you know. I was an All-American. How, 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 how did you deal with the traveling? I know when we went from Minnesota uh, to the Drake Relays. Mm -hmm. well, that was our, yeah. We <laughs> you know, that traveling, and then we went up to, to uh, Concordia. Well, all travel was over by bus. We had these yeah. big buses yeah. that we used to travel by. The only time we went by plane is when we went to L.A., to nationals. That's a different thing. That's the only time we blame, but all over the Midwest, we traveled by bus. And, and I tell you, good, you have to be finished by practice by 3.30, you know, because practice start at 4. So yeah. all your classes got to be before finished by 3.30 or you have a night class. Exactly. You have a night exactly. class yeah. or you, you have to have those structured times. So I get my kids, hey, there's no excuse, you have to study. Well, I have homework mm -hmm. to do. If you go to college, you cannot tell the coach that I can home I can't come to practice because he mm -hmm. sends you back home. That's so right. there is something that you can teach the kids here before they get there that you have to get them used to. Well, let me stick a pin here, and I, I, the whole world could know this. Um, I did uh, computers. <clears throat> computers was the day, I mean, the, the time before track practice. Mm -hmm. I ain't worried about that computer. <laughs> I get set for track practice. practice. Yes, that's key. So you have to be able to to to, to balance do, the two. Balance the two. Yes, you have to. But then, then I took computers again, and mm -hmm. then I I got an A in it. Yeah, you, you have know, to it's just, it. it's just you know, and that's what school is about. And so that's why athletes are so resilient. I think even in the workplace. Yes, because yes. yes. From discipline. In, exactly. You have discipline. that discipline. You know yeah. about prioritizing. Yes. And if you don't learn it early, you sure do learn it before you graduate. That's oh, right. Oh, definitely. Or you're yes. home. Exactly. Or you're home. <laughs> or you're home. Or you're home. Or you're home and running by their home. Exactly. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, so, talking about, uh, <clears throat> as I say, talking about um, going, you said you went out to the West Coast. Yeah. We, um, first national I went to, Division two national we were in California. Um, I'll never forget city. Sacramento. Oh, Sacramento. I never forget it. Temperature was like a hundred and three degrees. And that's the first I, I time. I over there that 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 hot I next run, year in Eugene. Uh, I run eight hundred, right? Uh -huh. And temperature was a hundred and three degrees. And in the heat, I was like in fourth place, right? And there's a guy in front of me, and only for top three make it. And for some reason, he moved to the outside. To go mm -hmm. on the home set, and I run on the inside, and I qualify. The first time that I ever fainted after I finished running, yeah. I was out. Boy. I mean, it was humid and humid, hot. I was dehydrated. Mm -hmm. had to bring me through because it was I'm never running that hard and that high temp. Now we got yeah. 96, 98 degrees, if not 103, uh -huh, uh -huh. and it was hot. And that track was and a hot 103 right. with no breeze. Right, and that track was uh, asphalt track. It was hard track. It was, it was hard. And, I mean, I got All-American in the finals. Mm -hmm. But um, um, I've had it in, I beat another, um, and this one was really disappointing, another All-American. Could qualify, when I qualify, and the, there's no really qualifying, because at the time, and, and I think the coach from South Dakota protested me mm -hmm. going in. And he probably wanted to protest, and I couldn't run. I was way mm -hmm. down in thinking to run in nationals, and I couldn't run because the coach from, from South Dakota Protested because South Dakota State. Oh. Yes, South Dakota State. Okay. He protested because we had beaten them in the conference. Just one second. You know, we talk about uh, our man and uh, who got honored. Dickinson Ramon. Yeah. No, not him. The one you gave. Herman me. Fraser. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He had a brother who went to South Dakota. It's okay. a sprinter. I could always remember <laughs> okay, that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The brothers. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, Go so, ahead. So that was the mom. My second. Um, Nationals. Uh, I think it was a highlighter. Well, that was my senior year. Now jump back 
to you, Mike, Asa, when you ran. And that was the CSC Championship. Mm -hmm. And it was in Puerto Rico. I think Mike had run the 400, and I was run the 800. And I get in the 800, you know, young guy, first time in a, on the international, well, um, Caribbean championship. And the track was a dirt track, muddy, that and it was raining. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And by the time I Danny finished, was there, eh? yeah, Danny was Danny Smith. I think Chanel had, and, and Linda. Linda was there, they had one. Um, placing, they, they got mad. Like I said, Mike had won the 400. And I get to get seven or eight in the 800. But that was the experience. Mm -hmm. Because by the time I finished the 800, I was a brown man. The dirt was from uh -huh. head to toe. Because if you're in the middle of the park. That's right. The, the dirt is kicking. The you rain, get to everything is kicking. Yes. So that, that's, that's what I think. But I, I enjoyed it. You know. Well, we're going to go to a break. And when we come back, we're going to talk a little bit more. And then um, shut down. Okay, go to a break. My team of dedicated scientists develop shell fuels for your car. For over 100 years, fuels innovation has been at the heart of everything we do. Since our first ever branded petrol in 1907, we've broken records, supported Ferrari F1 to win Grand Prix, and pushed our fuels to the limit. Now, every time you fill up the shell, your engine will benefit from our passion for innovation, helping you to get the most out of every tank full. With over 100 years of quality fuels innovation, you can be sure of Shell. I am Bernard F. Hanna. All of you should know me as a sting. I've got the very first copy from Vancouver to Athens. You know, I'm so excited because to be the one to have the first copy, I know what it was for Hawk for over the years, his dedication and his excitement, his commitment to bring this best seller book to us. And uh, I'm excited to have in my possession not only one copy, but two copies from Vancouver to Athens. 50 years of Bahamian international track and the field competition. This is great stuff. So, so I'm urging all of you to get your, your own copy. You could get it from Logos in the Harbor Bay or Nassau Stationers on Rosetta Street or Chapter 1 at COB or at Coral News and Gifts in the domestic section of uh, the Linden Pinland Airport. Let me tell you, man, you will never regret it. This kind of information that you get in this book is really invaluable. It's just terrific stuff. Good sports history, true and factual, you know. So I urge you, just go and get it and keep a copy and even give your friends a copy. And you know, more than one reason I am more excited about having this book. Look at page 200 and you will see me there in live and living color performing. Number 200, you will see Bernard F. Hanna performing and uh, that is my fulfillment, one of my big fulfillment of having this book. Always on the go? Miss the show? You can now listen to Guardian Radio talk shows anytime, anywhere on Spotify and YouTube by searching Guardian Radio 96.9 FM or by entering the name of your favorite show. You can also listen by logging on to GuardianTalkRadio.com and clicking on the podcast tab. Guardian Radio, continuing to provide you with fresh news and smart talk anywhere, anytime, all day. This is Guardian Radio 96.9 FM, Nassau, Bahamas. <laughs>
And we're back. We're listening to the one and only Foster Dorset talking about the T Bird Flyers. Yes, um, um, it was a club that I helped form in 1983. But before that, I used to be in the Dynamos. One, one, one more time, I have to acknowledge him. Vanessa, uh, <laughs> Vanessa Kelly Burrows, and uh, I can't remember the other one, but I, I need to just mention do a shout them. out, mention them, because okay. they're watching. Okay. Yeah, um, it used to be the Dynamos on the rip roll, and when they closed up, I joined the t -boy, not t -boy, the um, Baintown Flyers under Obed Gardner. Mm -hmm. um, he was the founder of the, um, responsible by Dr. Um, what the name is? Oh, Dr. Gay. Saw, uh, Dr. Gay. Yeah, he was uh, asking me about Dr. Yeah, Gay. Dr. Gay was the um, yes. sponsor of the of the Bain Town Flyers. And, and Lane Thompson used and, to be Lane right. used to be with and them. He, um, Obed Gardner was the coach. And when I came up from school, I left. Um, when I came back, I was still Excuse there. me, uh, Paulette uh, Barker, and uh, well, it comes on so quickly. Uh, go ahead. Okay. When I came back, I'm. Um, Mr. T, who was at that time on Camp Road, he asked myself and um, Tony Smith. Tony was a governor, um, governor to form a track club to help the youth in the area. Mm -hmm. So in '83, we formed the T-Boy. No, Tony Smith. Yeah, he showed. He worked uh, opposite where Commonwealth Bank was yeah. downtown. Yeah, we formed T-Boy Flyers, and before that, I went to Neville, who was now in T-Boy, and tell him, well, I'm not even T-Boy per se. I mean. Um, Bain Town. I'm just um, even even the Bain Flyers to help form the T-Bird Flyers. We still flyers, mm -hmm. and yes. we formed the T-Bird Flyers in '83. And the reason for the flyers, uh, Mr. T, was was to help the youth in that area. And we expanded o over the years. You sure have. And we have done things now, like um, um, last week, or well, two weeks ago, we had a free breakfast for the kids in the Montelites area. I saw that. that we yes. did, and we have a couple more projects that we're doing as a club. And this is to help the kids be able to give back rather than just take, take, take. Mm -hmm. We're going to do a Thanksgiving drive where we ask them to bring items. And once we get um, Thanksgiving, we um, pocket the item and give it to the needy in various areas. Okay. And we also have a third project we want to do with, with the club, Daphne's involved again, where we go in certain areas where there's elderly and clean the yard or what have you. So that was something that we, and the athletes are doing this. Mm -hmm. And you're not just that's making them thing. athletes, but you're making right. them community yeah. Right, so they can get so involved. And, and they, they, they're awesome. excited. And, and really, it really helped motivate them to train out because now they're in the limelight. And your meet, so. you, you hold a meet every uh, annually. Yeah. Or that's like what, the second or the third week? Well, of, this year, um, it will be... Change of it. It's, no, it's the seventh or the eighth or the... 14 and 6, depending on when the beach rays have their odd distance. So that'll be, okay. It will okay. be the red after the odd distance. That's correct. And we might go to, it's a two-day meet. Instead of Friday and Saturday, we might go to Saturday and Sunday. Okay. So okay. We, we are just waiting on, on the beach rays to see when they're going to have their odd distance in okay. January. Well, let's talk a little bit about the birthdays, please. Uh, Brent Stubbs has a birthday. The great Brent Stubbs. And would you believe this? Uh, there are two other people have birthdays on the 13th of the month. And one is Antonio Green on the 13th. Wow. And the next one is Sidney Cartwright <laughs> on the 13th. <laughs> Same day. Wow. Uh, but, but uh, 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 um, um, what's his name? Uh, Antonio is older than... Sidney? Born in, born in 61. Okay. Yeah. Uh, mm. uh, and then uh, we talk about Steve Cram. Uh, from the uh, uh, from Brittany is in the first uh, world uh, championships. Okay. And the in the first lap of uh, the the uh, fifteen hundred, they ran slower than the women. <laughs> that's, that's how it was. My Nobody wanted to take the lead. The, you know, tactical race. There's yeah. a medal. And, and how, then, hey, I, how it's changed so much right now. Yeah. yeah. And then I talk about, uh, about Clothy Lockhart. Uh, uh, yeah, I remember Imperial. Imperial has and been, right. been there a long time. Yes. Uh, wherever she is in the world, I call her. Uh, uh, then we have Alicia Thompson, uh, BTVI, 
And this lady, Larry Wilson, Larry, and then Juanito. That's my bowling. That's my bowling team member, Larry Wilson. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Larry Wilson. (laughs) And then, you all tend to forget, you know, there is somebody called, uh, um, called, uh, what's her name now? Juanita, uh, as I say, Juanita DeVoe and Vanessa Colby. Uh, Vanessa Colby is my family, and Juanita is in, in Atlanta. Okay. And, and if she is devoted, she got to be my family. Oh, goodness. You know, that's what we're talking about. <laughs> we devoted from Boston Exuma. Okay, okay. Okay, in the okay. <laughs> so, you all remember this fellow called um, uh, Billy Conchella from Kenya? Billy Conchella. He won the 800 in the, uh, that would have been in Rome. Mm-hmm. Very, 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 very good. Um, and that was in 19... Um, um, Anyhow, Valerie Bozov, he was somebody who was so good. He won this, that, and the next thing. Technician. Uh, yeah. yeah, he was. Very, 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 he very was. good. And then uh, we're talking about Atlee Mahone from Canada. And then going down, this is towards the end of the month now, Herman Fraser. Oh, his birthday mm. is this uh, month, and he's being on the ordered. 29th. On the okay. 29th. Okay. Yeah, on the 29th. Donovan Bailey, of course. Of course. Oh, oh Canada. yes. Canada. Oh, yes. Canada. Mel Pender. Okay. Yes. Mel mean. Pender was on the, uh, I think he, he was on the 68 team in the, uh, in the, in the well, of course, the sprints. Okay. Uh, he'd been here a number of times. And then uh, Alonzo Barber. And Alonzo Barber won, he, he was from your area, I think, and he won the 400 meters in, in uh, Los Angeles. Okay. Yeah, in Los Angeles. So those are the uh, birthdays. Uh, birthdays. Let me uh, see a couple of other birthdays. Oh, I need to say is it? Uh, Don knows. Uh, Amadeo Francis, you need to know this. Oh, my goodness. On the 22nd, on the 22nd, Amadeo will be 90 years of age. Oh, my goodness. He's that he old? He was just oh, praying was to be, old. you know, he can't see and everything, and he, he lives by himself. A great um, mind about track, though. Oh, yes. Great, yes. great. Yes, yes. Yeah. Very, oh very much so. Very much so. Great activist yes, for sport yes. as well. And then we go to uh, uh, um, uh, Porsche Nordage. Oh, Ed Smith. Ed Smith is on, on the same day as Amadeo. Mm-hmm. He is 71. Mm-hmm. 71. You know, we all know Ed Smith, yeah. football man. Mm-hmm. And uh, Porsche Nordic, that's who we're talking about. Okay. Uh, Jerome, uh, Jerome uh, um, Godfrey, uh, and, a, and a number of, uh, of other people. And uh, we're really looking forward uh, to them having a great birthday. Happy birthday. Mm-hmm. Happy birthday. birthday That's right. So what I wish to do is just mention uh, the people who have passed. Talking about uh, Marcellus Sanders. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Marcellus Sanders, I know, I when I pass the gas station, so I normally go in to get some mints. Mm-hmm. And he's talking to me, he said he used to run. <laughs> and he showed his number. He said he used to run. And when you know, he had two sisters who was in sack when I was yeah, there, yeah, so yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. So Farah was Farah was in grade twelve, and then I think his um, his second sister was in grade. Farah would have been in grade twelve, uh-huh. and I think his sister was like maybe two or three years up behind yeah. her, right? That's one who sings it. Eh? Farah is the one who sings. Farah yeah. sings. No, two yeah. sisters sing. Oh, so maybe the other one is the doctor. Yeah, the she's the one who. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. she's okay. the one. She's the right. one who, who sings. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. And so we go from there so to uh, we go from there um, to Barry Farrington, of course. Yes, Barry Farrington. Barry Farrington from Atlantis. One of a kind, yes. Resorts International. Yes. Yeah, you know that. Yeah, no, yeah. 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 We were close. We 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 were close. We oh, were wow. real close. I tried to reach him, and he was in up north uh, okay. in in New England, and uh, he had even challenges coming coming back. Right. Well, as young as I am, I, I just yeah. know his name his and know name, him. Yeah, so yeah. growing up is one of in the hotel, he with always my went to Wilmington. <laughs> he didn't miss one of them. Like I don't miss a World Championship. Mm-hmm. He never missed one of them. Okay. 
So the other one is, uh, I, I'm talking about uh, uh, Chamberlain. Then who knows Fred Henfield? Fred Henfield was the base of the beginning of the end. Oh, yeah. Bad. He's one of the few oh, less, the, right. the, the bass guitar. Uh, and then we're talking about, uh, uh, let's see. Oh, somebody from our corner. Uh, this uh, 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 Glenn uh, Kathleen Scott. She goes, uh, let me tell you where they live. You know where the, uh, uh, on Mount Royal Avenue and the, uh, the funeral home, mm -hmm. just there, they live right opposite there. Okay. Her husband died some years ago, maybe five, ten years, years ago, ago. Uh, and it's really something else for, you know, for that to happen. She used to work at Life and Key, and she really assisted Spence in being able to hook up with uh, 007, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah. Smokey? No, not Smokey. I'm talking about the actor, oh, the actor who thing. lived in Life and Key. Sean King? Sean King. Sean, 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 yes, 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 yes. That's, that's it. And then uh, the last one in terms of, of death, we're talking about uh, um, Agnes Turup, 25, Kenya. Okay, she was fourth in the Olympic oh, Games. Oh, yes, yes, I saw that in the Fourth in yeah. the Olympic Games. Yeah. And the event, I think it, was, it would have been 10,000. 10,000, yeah. yeah. But the women's thing, it was done, only women in Germany. Yeah, that's an unfortunate death as well. Yeah. Yes. Well, I thank uh, our producer uh, for, since, what's his name? Uh, 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 Kermit. Uh, Kermit. Uh, the rhyming fella is not here. <laughs> <laughs> He's getting ready for Jokadu, you know, because yeah. you know we are the Valley Boys, yeah, yeah, that's <laughs> and, that, and that is it. That Any is final nothing. thoughts, uh, Foster? No, just open for a successful track season. I think the athletes are really, really um, preparing for for this year, and it's with all oh, our oh, athletes, oh. senior and junior athletes, yeah. um, much success we, this year. We forgot something. You were the president. Yes. After me. Yep. Tell, say a little bit about your presidency. Well, I took over from Mr. Finneson. And my name is Alphys, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> I had to go Not from, my name. <laughs> I had to go from Alphys in, in um, 97, mm -hmm. you know, and it, I enjoyed it, you know. I mean, it's a, um, like I one time, present, but I... It's we, a lot of work. We, we come mm -hmm. with, it's, people think, look at it as a prestigious job, but it's a lot of work when you get into it. It's a lot, and you have to carry a lot of, of weight, a lot of uh, uh, stress. Um, they don't know. All they see is the end product. Mm -hmm. You know, they see the end product. But um, um, I enjoyed it, and I got a lot of good people to work with. You know, um, people like Alphys, who I um, take over from Alphys and, and Dr. Knowledge. And it was, it was good. Uh, matter of fact, do you mind you, we had the last CAC Relay Championship was held here. On the, the last, and we won... As a matter of fact, we won the trophy last year, senior CAC you, championship. CAC, uh, uh, you're talking about relays. Relays, yes. yes. But you know yeah. what the problem was? The election was called. <laughs> right before, <laughs> before that, yes, that's true. Right before that. That's right. It's just like uh, when we went to, when we had uh, the Nationals mm -hmm. and we brought in some people from Auckland and all of that. Mm -hmm. They did well, mm -hmm. but the elections were held right before, before that. that. And you know, many elections, you know, nobody checking for the track. Another time, I think, I think we also had, uh, uh, we had, we had really, we had a fair, a beach re, a beach re age fair. That's right. That's from, right. Um, Mr. Petty was one of the yeah, key person yeah. um, in that. We had a, and we, we also had the beach re office mm -hmm. at that time. That's right. That's the first right. time we established the actual beach mm -hmm. re office. Um, and uh, the uh, thumbs up of Mr. Petty. I know Mr. Hawk was trying to get out, but the problem was finding some place to have an office for Mr. Petty off uh, um, one of his yeah. place for, off the beach race for his office um, um, during that time. And also he spearhead a beach race fair. Mm -hmm. um, so there are a lot of things that we did during those, those three years as president. Plus I was Alpheus, um vice president for six years, six or six years. Some years, yes. Yeah, I was, I was yes, vice yes. president for six years, and then after he 
um, um, bow out. He didn't lose. He just didn't run. He bow out. You know, um, um, I think you ever lose. Uh, so a good handover. He's president. So he's good handover. Uh, we'll talk after. Yeah, he didn't run. Because this was my person, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I was there at the... <laughs> yes. the yeah. Anyhow, so anyhow, um, thank you ever so much. And uh, we really appreciate you. We appreciate those people who are listening and all of that. Thank you ever so much. Let me see if any other names. Oh, Mel Latney. Oh, man. This is... Call the names, please. No problem. <laughs> you have Charlene Thompson saying good night. Mel Latney saying once again a great show. Charlene Thompson, wonderful show tonight. So we want to say a special thank you to all of our listeners. Thank you ever so much. <laughs>